we will start by going to msdn.com slash express uh, at uh, this site there are two things you should take notice of uh, the first thing is that um, uh, there is a forum here as well uh, for discussing express if you have any problems there is also another forum later on for specifically for XNA, which you will probably use much more than this forum. But if you have any problems with Express, then you should use this forum. And uh, as you can see, there are many different versions of Express, depending on what language you will program in. There is uh, Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp, and that's the one we want. So I'll click on Download. I have already been over what you need, so uh, I will just go st straight down and find the download link. There are two different kinds of downloads. You can download uh, the whole uh, CD image so that you can burn it to a CD and give it to a friend, or you can download a small program, which we will do, which will help you download only the things you need. This is just a, a small three megabyte download, so I will say that. Uh, just on the desktop is fine. Um, we don't need this window anymore, so I'll delete that. And then I'd just like to note before I close this window that there are three steps you should do. Uh, you should. Uh, Make sure you're ready, of course. You should download it and then you should register afterwards. We will do that through the installation program, so we don't need this window anymore. I'll close it up. I'll double click on the file we downloaded. And uh, of course we want to run it. It uh, unpacks some files and sets everything up so we can install it. Microsoft uh, wants your help to improve Visual C Sharp, so you should send information back to them. They will not gather any secret uh, in anything you want to keep a secret. The license agreement basically says um, that uh, you can create, sell anything you create, but um, if you just uh, take one of their starter kits and pack it up, then you can, of course, not sell it. So we will accept that and uh, click Next. Here you can choose to install some extra things. The first one is uh, MSDN Help System. Uh, which is very good. Uh, this is the reference material I was talking about earlier. So you should definitely install that. If you want, you can install the SQL server as well, but um, we're not going to use it, at least not for now. So if we ever need it, then we will install it later on. Now it will download the parts uh, and it will take a while. So I'm going to Click install and uh, probably go and make a cup of coffee or something. The good thing about this is that um, you can see there are two programs in this list, but uh, if it needs something else that you don't have, for example, if uh, you don't have the dot .NET 2.0 framework, or if you don't have Windows installer 3.1, then it will download and install that as well for you. So you don't need to install anything before Visual C Sharp. Just make sure you have Service Pack 2 if you have Windows XP. If you have Vista, it should install right out of the box. Well, there is supposed to be a, an, a register button here, but there isn't because uh, I've already registered one time and then I uninstalled Visual C to reinstall and show you guys. So just imagine that there is a button here and I'll show you the web page where, the, where it takes you instead so we can register. You can register by using a Hotmail address or some other kind of Windows Live ID.
If you don't have a Windows Live ID, you can sign up for one. It goes pretty fast. You basically just uh, type your email address and uh, you add a password. And uh, you select a question that uh, suits you. Um, I don't know which one suits me. I'll I'll pick favorite historical person, and then uh, can write um, something in here too. Uh, Socrates was pretty cool. Killed at the hands of socialists. Uh, then you just repeat whatever it says in here. Uh, eight, eight, six. DTA. And then you click continue. After you've uh, read both agreements, then uh, you should uh, accept. The agreements, they don't really say anything funny. They are actually pretty nice. It says things like um, they won't sell your email address, but they'll kick you out if you do something illegal. The normal stuff. And you need to fill in a short survey as well. Uh, you actually only need to fill in the red ones, but uh, it's nice of you if you fill in the rest as well. I don't have much to say. I don't have any fancy title or anything. So I'll just repeat my email address. And uh, you need a postal code. That one is dependent on where you are, of course. So you pick your country first. Uh, let's see if, if we can find Thailand. There it is. And uh, you need to pick a profession for the day. See if I can find something that whoop, suits me. Maybe faculty sounds good. And we are programming in C sharp. However, uh, XNA will most probably expand and use Visual Basic later on as well. And uh, besides from that, we will use XML as well. So since we know about that, we might as well get some news about that. If there are any from Microsoft, they're not going to spam you. Only give you the important news. And uh, we are, of course, interested in the .NET framework, because we will be using that when we program. Uh, we will make a game so we can get some news about that. And uh, it's always fun to test new development tools. And uh, hopefully we will make our game run on Vista eventually. Um, so we should check so we know when that comes out as well. The next step is to verify your email address. So I'll jump over to my inbox. And uh, Microsoft has sent me an email, so I'll click on that. And um, they sent uh, one of those standard confirmations. So you just click on that one. Which gives you a new window. And uh, in this window, you would need to copy the registration key. Then you start up Visual C Sharp. It's slightly outside the recording window, but it doesn't matter much. 
it will configure a few things the first time. I'll cut the video here because this might take a few minutes. Uh, actually, I could mention that, that uh, this is the reason why you need to start Visual C Sharp before you install XNA. Uh, because this one sets up a few things that XNA is going to need. Once uh, Visual C Sharp is up and running, you go to Help and uh, Register Product. And then you need to paste that in that you copied, and then you click Complete, complete Registration. Uh, you should send the feedback to Microsoft again, because uh, this will help them make this product better the next time you download it when you download Visual Studio 2007 Express. And uh, now we will close Visual C Sharp so that we can install XNA as well. We don't need that one either. And uh, we have already verified our email. So we don't need this one either. Let's head over to msdn.com slash xna. This screen will most likely look a bit different for you because uh, when I'm doing this, xna is only available as a beta. You should um, know this site. I go here often. Uh, you should maybe subscribe to the XNA team blog so you get news about XNA. Uh, also, if you scroll down, you have two forums. You have the Game Studio forum where you ask questions about, uh, about anything to do with XNA. And if you have questions specifically for the API, you go to XNA Framework Forum instead. These forums are really good. Um, the entire XNA community is there, and they are working hard on helping each other out. We have already gone over the system requirements, so I'll just go down and click on the download link. Do note the name of the file. so that you will find it after you have downloaded it. Oh, this mouse is getting old, I need to buy a new one. Uh, you could run the file right away or you could save it. I'll save it because then I can pass it on to friends. Uh, and I'll, I'll just put it on the desktop for now. This will take a while to download. So I'm about 40 minutes, so I'll go and make myself a cup of coffee and then I'll come back here. Okay, uh, we don't need this, so I'll close this up and uh, let's start installing XNA as well. Yes, we do want to run the file. It prepares to install. Let's move that in a little bit. And uh, the license agreement is similar to that of uh, uh, Visual C Sharp. You can sell anything you make. Well, in the beta version you cannot, but uh, in the final version you will be able to do that. And then you just install, and it will take care of the rest for you. As you can see, it installs the DirectX redistributors also as well, so you don't need to do that. You don't need to download them separately. And uh, now that it has finished, we can start Visual Studio again. That should be it. We can now start uh, Visual C Sharp and start coding. But uh, what should we code? Let's uh, have a quick review of the what code looks like first.